Hi guys and welcome to another episode of Redstoning with Mr. Griefus Creepers. Today I'll be taking you through how to summon fireworks. I think I'm thinking because it's close to um, New Year and people like to let off fireworks to celebrate the incoming New Year, I thought I'd let you know how to do it in Minecraft. So without further ado, let's get to it. So first, um the basic summon. Like every every other command, there is a really basic way of looking at it, and in this case this is the easiest way to summon a fireworks rocket entity. Okay, so slash summon, then fireworks rocket entity, camel case like that, first letter F R E in capitals, and then the tilde sign um, indicates, um, sorry, um, the numbers afterwards are the X, Y, and Z axis. Um, the tilde indicates our exact location, so that would be the exact location to the command block on the X axis. And then the Y axis, it's the exact location plus one, so that's the exact location plus one, so it would essentially be where the sign is. And then on the Z axis, exactly the same location, so that's essentially putting it directly where the sign is. So if we click this, oh, you can see behind it. You can see a little fireworks entity just popping up there. Yep. So that's the really basic way of getting a firework going. Obviously, none of the fancy stuff's there. That's just how the, the basics behind it. So now, if we want to make this firework entity fire up into the sky, we need to add in the lifetime variable. So as you can see here, it's the same basic construct there. Plus now, with the curly braces either side of it, we now have the lifetime entity, uh, the lifetime variable, and in this case 20, I think that's ticks, so it'll be in the air for 20 ticks. So if we step back and have a look at it, you can see that flies up. There you go. Okay, moving on to a full summon, so this will, um, this will include the trail and the explosion at the top. Let's, um, let's first have a look at it. There you go, in one single colour, in this case blue, with a white trail. So if we go from the very start and work our way across, you'll see where we're going with this. Um, I will, around here somewhere, <laughs> I'll um, put an overlay on the screen so you can follow this much easier than it is just looking across a line here. So the lifetime variable is 20, and then we move on through a comma to the fireworks item. Um, this indicates that we're going to initialize a firework, so that means when the entity gets to the top of its um, course, it will initialize this fireworks item. So this is the ID401, and the ID401 is a firework rocket. Count 1, just to tell them that we're only sending up 1. And now on to the interesting bit, the tag. So the tag, again, through the um, colon, and then uh, curly brace, we then say fireworks. So this is now the fireworks tag and we go into here and we have the option for explosions. Now the difference with, ex with explosions is instead of it having a curly brace like the fireworks, we actually have a squared bracket. Squared brackets indicates you can have multiple items within it. So um, we're going to use the object initializer to um, create the flicker, the trail, the type, the colours and the fade colours. You can have multiple of these within the explosions. I'll get onto that in a minute, we'll just go through each one individually. So we do the squared bracket and then the curly brace and then we can say flicker. So the flicker, um, let me get to it, there we go, the flicker. Um, so th um, this can either be one or zero. In my case, I put one. Uh, this just indicates whether it's going to have a, a glowstone um, effect over it, so it'll flicker as it um, fires up into the sky. The next one down is the trail. The trail, again, is just a true or false statement, so one or zero, and this literally means whether it will have a trail effect. So whether, you know, when we saw it flat firing up into the air, let's just quickly show you again, whether it'll have those little white um, crosses, that's what the trail is. Okay, so now let's get back to the trail. So after the trail, which is here, we have the type. And now the type, there are five different options, which is 0, 1, 2, 3, or 4. 
and zero is a small ball so think of fireworks in real life when you let off a rocket into the sky and you see the ball ones this is a small ver the small variant of it so that's zero one is a large variant of the ball two is a star shaped so it'll make a star in the sky three is a creeper shape so it'll make I think it's a creeper head it actually makes um, and four is a burst uh, what do we have our set to now four so let's have a look at it this is number four oh. and then if we go back in we can change it to number three and that's your creeper couldn't really see that from there let's go over here Which one did I get? Oh, sorry, that one. Ah, it's not really showing yet. That is, yeah, it's a creeper head. Um, okay, so now on to number two. This is the star shape. There you go, lovely little star. And then one, this is a large ball. There you go, a nice big explosion there as well. And then zero is the small ball and there you go okay so they're the different um, types you can have and now colors so again as you can see here the colors um, is surrounded by squared brackets which means we can have multiple colors but in this case I've only selected one 255 is blue is it let me just check yeah it must be blue um, 255 is the is a decimal number um, there's a website in the description of this video um, which you can click on it'll take you to it and um, basically it gives you nice little sliders to say what color you want and then it'll tell you what the decimal number is for that um, color so that's how you get these um, so the fact that it's got squared brackets means we can actually have multiple colors so in this case if we were to do yeah, let's just make a random number. There you go. Um, this will now have two colours. Green. That was a lucky um, toggle down for. Lucky guess of a number. So, blue and green. There you go. Beautiful. And uh, fade colours, that's um, what it fades out to. So, if we just pick another random colour. Let's see what this does. There you go, it's got some out fading, which was kind of a grey colour. Um, Multicolour, that's just what we've been looking at right now, um, which is having multiple colours of each, so the fade colours and the main colours. There you go, um, let's just quickly fire this one up. Ta-da! Beautiful. Now, like I was saying, we can have multiple explosions, so multiple explosions we could have a large ball and a star explode at the same time. Um, let's see which. Um, let's see what this actually does. There you go. You get the. Um, which one is it? You get the burst and the large ball. Okay. And to do that, um, like I said, the explosions tag had squared brackets, which means we can have multiple instances of an explosion so because we've just been talking about the flicker, the trail, the type, the colours and the fade colours with those variables uh, surrounded by curly curly brackets that means we can put a comma after the closing curly bracket and open another curly bracket and you can write them all again and then it'll have a second um, a second explosion so there's the comma and then open the curly brackets and we can start the flicker again and that's how you make a second explosion and trail and type and colors and so on and so forth and blah, da, 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 da. Uh, I'm going to overlay that so you can see exactly um, how it's laid out the the entire um, the entire command and let's have a look at that again oh beautiful I could spend hours showing you each and every different option you can have but it's best for you to rip the code out of my description and play with it yourself in Minecraft and see what you like. I'd love to see what fireworks displays you all make. So, until then, I've been Mr. Griefus Creepers. Thank you very much for watching. Have uh, a wonderful new year. explain ev to everybody what the actual idea is on this map. Please. It's a quick build map. Quick build. First Heads. thing is you can have up to four competitors. Uh -huh. Four people building whatever the topic is. Uh -huh. Choose the topic, you go to the big option thing over there. Ooh. 
punch out a red block and that will have a sign with a topic on it. Cool. There you go. So and you have so many minutes to build. Ten minutes. Um, ten minutes to build. Uh-huh. And they'll get judged by the person that isn't building. 